I, I used to have teachers say, what do your kids do down there all day? Like, do they, I mean, teachers in my own building thought I was just hanging out in a computer lab, like for, like at a free hour. And, and I, I encourage mentors to use that checklist or show their administration that checklist. If you want to be a good mentor, it's a front and back filled sheet of what you should be doing before school starts in the beginning of school, in the middle of school, toward the end of the year. It's hard work to be a good dedicated mentor. It really is. There's a lot of work. You're not just asking kids if they're on pace. There's a lot of behind the scenes that goes into it. And I've met with some amazing mentors throughout my time at Michigan Virtual. And the things that some people are doing are just unbelievable what they're doing for kids, making videos for kids and and all the communication that they have with the kids and the after school sessions they're having. And it's just, it, it's endless. And a lot of my resources that I have on that page, a lot of them are from some of these mentors that have reached out to me and said, hey, I sent out this newsletter or this is what I do for count day. And, and so I share it with people because it's, it's amazing some of the things that they're doing. And I just think that great mentors empower students to make informed decisions, but also to understand the impact of their choices. Because not being face-to-face -face with a teacher, the kids will understand that if I choose not to put my heart and soul into this and work on this every day, I'm not going to get a very good grade. And that's, that's kind of their first taste of your, well, your, you're gonna have an impact for the choices that you make. And it could be a great impact if you make, you know, great choices of, um, you know, following following the direction of, of your mentor. <laughs>